So this here is your desktop, pretty bland and ugly. I mean operating systems in general don't look good in stock and guess who's here to fix your problems for you? Well that's right, it's me, Rack, back with another video and we are gonna be turning this into this. Pretty cool huh? Well, let's get straight into it. Alright, so the first thing that we're gonna be doing is obviously cleaning up this mess on your desktop. Now there are actually two methods of doing this, one is pretty simple and the lazy one and that is to just right click and go into view and just uncheck the show desktop icons, voila everything is clean. However, for some people I can understand that they like to keep some stuff on desktop and I do too. So what we're gonna be doing is checking this and we're gonna be going ahead and basically moving all of this inside of a folder which we can just then place on desktop if we want so let's go ahead and create a new folder you can go ahead and name it anything and what we are going to be doing is just move all of this into the new folder move everything inside and then just go ahead and rename it to joe well joe who joe mama well go ahead and name it that and voila now it's clean well we're gonna be changing that folder in some time with our theme so it will look pretty good at the end just hold up i do know that you're complaining about this folder on the desktop but we're gonna be changing its icon to something pretty cool matching our theme so that it looks really dope at the end of the video however for now we have another task and that is to clean up our taskbar well a task to clean the taskbar that's pretty awesome <laughs> well let's get into it so the thing that we're gonna be getting rid of is this big ass search bar and also this task view and if you have cortana here then maybe off that as well all you need to do is right click and uncheck the task view button so that it gets rid of that and also uncheck the cortana or any other options that are checked here except for of course the lock the task bar and then for the search go in here and just go ahead and click on hidden that's all you don't even need the search bar all you need to do is press the windows icon and just start typing whenever you like to search something it will basically do the same thing without that big search bar there all right so now we need to go ahead and get rid of any of the useless icons that are present here now i have already unpinned the icons but all you need to do in order to get rid of an icon is just right click on it and click on unpin from taskbar and that's basically it and you can do the same thing with the ones that you want in your taskbar so for example if i go here right click on it then i can go into more and pin to taskbar and it's going to go ahead and pin it to taskbar once again if i right click unpin that's all now that this section of the taskbar is clean we can go ahead and move on to this section now for me personally i like keeping all of this stuff on the taskbar so that i can monitor what's running in the background of my computer however for some people i know that they don't want to see any of these icons and all you need to do is right click go into the taskbar settings and once the settings open up scroll down and under the notification area just go into select which icons appear on the taskbar once this opens just go ahead and turn this to off and then only select the ones that you want to keep on your taskbar so for example if i want to hide this microphone icon all i need to do is turn this off and turn it on to get it back however as i already told you i like to keep this on just to monitor everything that's running in the background so it's really up to you all right now we have a clean desktop and a clean taskbar now what we are moving on to is a color theme or a color scheme or a theme whatever and all you need to do is open up the settings go into personalization and then go into colors we will be moving on to wallpapers but that's after this step all right so some of the things that you need to do is change the color or the color scheme now i like to keep it on light because i just simply love seeing nothing that was just a joke i just hurt my eyes so i need to switch back to dark uh, that's much better all right so once you have selected your theme which i know is dark because light is not allowed and if you select light mode then dude what's wrong with you like go see a doctor then we move on to transparency effects and for those of you guys who don't want to use a separate software for a clear taskbar you can go ahead and turn this on so it will give this clear look however for me i like to keep it off and i use a third party software that simply makes the taskbar clear giving it a more aesthetic look then for the color accent it's basically up to you i like to keep this at default blue in my opinion it just goes really well with the whole dark theme now that we are done with this we can move on to wallpaper well you can go ahead and use any wallpaper for me i just like to go ahead and select a minimalistic type wallpaper so you might see me using something like this in 
some of my videos and recently I've been using this one which a lot of people liked and asked me for a link so all of my wallpapers will be in my discord server and the link to my discord server is down in the description so for the purposes of this video I will be using this wallpaper however I have a really good collection of wallpapers which you can find on my discord server so yeah link in the description also just make sure that the this is set to fill um, because that's what's going to give you the best result on your wallpaper now that everything is set here we can move on to some of the juicy stuff to make your desktop look even more aesthetic first of all we're gonna be going ahead and making this taskbar clear so that it matches with our background and in order to do that you just need to simply download a program called lively wallpapers you can go ahead and download it from the microsoft app store and it's free or you can go ahead and google search it it's literally free and a really light software and all you need to do is go ahead and open it up so double click here to open up the interface so once this opens up go into the settings go into the system and just make sure that the taskbar theme is set to clear now on default it would be something like this but when you set it to clear voila the taskbar has disappeared uh, so yeah you can go ahead and use this or you can simply leave it be it's really up to you in my opinion this looks much much better than 100% opacity taskbar basically now we move on to adding widgets to add personality to your desktop and in order to do that you can use a third party software called rain meter you can download it from google just go ahead and search up rain meter and download it and once you have downloaded it all you need to do is go ahead and open it up so for me once the program starts it loads up the theme that i have already selected but i'm gonna show you guys the ones that i'm using and you can tweak around with that so if i open up this program the only three skins that i'm using are this mond simplistic clock and simply round now this mond one has a recycle bin which i'm using right here so if i go ahead and unload and then load it back you should see that it's right there i also use the simplistic round clock which this one the light one i use because the background is dark and you can always go ahead and change it to any other then the third one that i'm using is simply round to show these dials here now there are a lot of options but the three that i'm using are the cpu the ram and my c drive there's free space in that you can also go ahead and just use other ones as well you can also go ahead and right click on them unload skin whenever you want i know there are a lot of guides which shows you how to properly use rain meter out there which you can go ahead and check out if you want to but if you want to use these three skins that i use mound simplistic clock and simply round then i will leave a pack on my website which you can download it from there it will be this in a zip file so you would need to extract it and once you open up go into the rain meter skins and then you can just go ahead and install these by double clicking on them then open up rain meter and they should be here then just simply go ahead and right click and load and that's all that's all you would need to do now of course you would need to change the sizes and the position of these but i trust you that you can do at least that right right jimmy well done anyways one last thing that you might be wondering is this folder how are we going to go ahead and make it look more aesthetic well let's give a transition this is how we will make the folders look more aesthetic by changing their icons so all you need to do is right click go into properties go into customize change the icon and then browse your icon file which you can go ahead and download from anywhere on the internet i'm using these uh, monochrome folder icons which i think look pretty cool also made a custom icon for valorant actually you know what i will include this icon and this valorant icon inside of the pack as well so if you want to use these go ahead and download the pack from the website now i do know website has some ads because i need to eat as well but uh, the ads have been reduced and you can simply go ahead and use an ad block if you don't want to support the channel in that way it's completely understandable anyways that's all you need to do in order to make your desktop look this aesthetic i hope you really enjoyed this video and maybe share it with some of your friends who are in desperate need of this and need to add some personality to their desktop because they themselves don't have one also guys i found out that only seven percent of you watching these videos are subscribed to the channel so make sure to hit that subscribe button it's literally like free and you can always unsubscribe if you don't like the content and yeah with that i guess i'll see you in the next one until then stay awesome